Hi guys, it's me, Linda. If you are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you're old here, today I have with you my in-depth lip collection. I went ahead and just decided to pull the whole bin out of my little setup because I thought it would just be easier to sit here with you guys and then to like be able to get swatches um, as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the lip items I do have over there, but we're gonna go ahead starting with these ones in the container. I do know some of you have requested swatches. Um, I didn't do it when I had started off initially, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna start off like with one row here, which is mostly like all Milani stuff, and then just work my way over. As you can see, I have a bit of room to grow, plus I have other, I have another one I'll be able to fill, but I, I don't wanna have too much. I think just this is good. Plus I also have a little lip thing in my desk as well that is looking like this. I'll actually just show you this one real quick. This is the e.l.f. Um, and this is um, Seriously Satin or something like that and it's in the shade Nectar. Um, this is one of the newest that I have and it looks like that. And then I also have just this like Elf, this is perfect pink. It's like just like a lip balm or something, but it definitely goes on pink. You can see it. I like to put this over lips sometimes just to have like a moisture instead of like a gloss. And then this is um a little like mini. This is MAC. This is in Velvet Teddy. And then I have four of these Anastasia lips. I got these at my work. I got these at TJ Maxx, um, and they are definitely, like, very pink, purpley, like, shades. This one's even lighter. Like, that is those. I think they're really pretty. Again, they're not something you can really wear a whole lot of. They The packaging is really cute anyway. And then I have this Burt's Bees, and this is in Pony or whatever. Um... I think I got this in, I want to say one of my Walmart boxes, but I'm not sure. And it definitely has like some glitter in it and it's got a shade. And then it of course just smells like Burt's Bees, the Burt's Bees smell. I don't love it because I don't like, um, like the glittery specks in it. Um, so I don't use it often. And then I just have like a eyeshadow primer in this little container and then of course my bliss sex because that's my i am addicted to chapstick i have been applying it since i was like 11 and i've never not worn it since i don't know if that's a good thing but it's my thing so that's what's in this desk right here oh wait a minute does lip liners count too i'm not gonna go ahead and swatch all of these but i'll tell you what i have like oh who it's from anyway Okay, so the first one I have in my hand is Belief Beauty Long Lasting Lip Liner in Barely There. A lot of them are kind of like the same shade area range-ish thingy. And then I have this um, Lasting, where do we start? Where do we start with reading what it says? I don't know. Where is even the name? It's in Wild Clover and it says... Lasting finish, 1,000 kisses stay on lip contouring pencil. Oh, it's from Rummel, I think. Oh, yeah, right here, Rummel London. You guys, I literally had to look at that for way too long. And this is the shade Alley Girl. This is Keep It Spicy. And this was another one I really enjoy, like the shade. And their formula feels really nice and creamy. I think the reason why... Um, this one broke is because it's an it's a really old. I think I've had this for like two years. Yeah, it's dry and falling apart. I should probably do away with these, but there's those. And then my last one is the Koki Professional um, Velvet Smooth Lip Liner, and it's in nude pink. This one's really pretty too. Yeah, I kind of have definitely just have like a shade. This is probably my lightest one. This is a little more like pinky like. And then I'll go ahead and actually show you the Huda Beauty one as well. This one's a really pretty color too. I like it a lot. 
And then I will go ahead and do the Believe Beauty one as well since we're here because this is like the, like, this is again another like pinkier one. Formula feels really nice. And I do enjoy a lot of these shade ranges, except for like the red one. I really don't use it, but like I said, it's super old in my collection. I should probably toss it. I'll probably do that in the future. And then I'm going to go in. Well, these are just like lip glosses. This is the um, Lush La Ludicrous Lip Gloss. Why is saying ludicrous super difficult for me? From Milani and this packaging is so beautiful. I was so lucky to win these in a giveaway. Yeah, so Luster Light is the shade name on this one, and it's such a stunning gloss. Honestly, it's my favorite one. I keep it right in the front. I just really like it. I'm not actually going to go ahead and swatch all of them, but I will show you them all and give you the shade names because it's so, like, you know, lip gloss. This one is She's All That, and this is a really nice color as well. And then I have... I actually like it better putting them in upside right or whatever so you can see the name on the top. This one actually I will go ahead and swatch. This one's again another really pretty shade. Probably one of my favorites. I really do enjoy um, the color on it and this one is called Teen Spirit. And then I have Whatever which is again another like glossy sparkly one. And then the next one is, this one has like sparkles in it too. They all like have sparkles in it, um, which I don't really love, but you don't know that till like after you start to find your way in makeup. This one is called Semi-Charmed or Semi-Charmed or whatever. And that one's a little more of like a purpley pink. And then I have this one. Ooh, this one's so pretty. I'm going to swatch this one for you guys. Um, the shade thingy fell off on the bottom, but I think it is on here. Oh, yep. It's called Hella Fresh. This one is so pink. Oh, my God. It's actually really pretty. Look at that right there. This one I really do like. Um, unfortunately, when I got these, at, when I won the um, giveaway, I think it was on Instagram, um, I went ahead and just like was so excited and opened them all with you and swatched them all and I really shouldn't have did that. I should have kept the ones that I wasn't going to use um, aside for a giveaway and now that I know that I'm going to work really hard to always remember to do that because I have quite a bit coming up I'm going to show you I don't really love but I don't know what to do with them. So this one's called Fanny Pack. This one's actually really pretty too. I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you. I didn't do a whole lot of the ones with the glitter in it because they're all kind of the same, but these ones are like shades. This one I like a lot. And then this one is where we start to get into shades that I probably wouldn't ever use. This one is Fishnet Tights or whatever, which is a really cool name. But it's, again, a color I wouldn't use. And because I did go ahead and swatch them all already, I just don't know what to do with them. I feel bad, like, having them and not using them. But it's really just because they're not, like, my cup of tea. And then this one is so fly. This one's, like, not that bad. This one's a little, obviously, on the brown side. And I think it would not look bad on the lips. But it's, again, not a shade I use. And then this one actually isn't that bad. This one's pretty. This one's too legit. And this one I probably would wear, but I, I don't know. I'm not really a, a gloss person, period. That's why I'm so mad that I went ahead and swatched them all. There's that one. And then I have two more. I have the Power Suit, which is this wicked pretty like purpley shade. I'll go ahead and show you what that one's looking like. And then I have the um, Kiss from a Rose. So that's what that one was. And then I'll show you this one. This one's actually really pretty. And it's right there. Again, I wish I didn't open them all. I can't stress it enough because a lot of these shades are really honestly too similar even. So I wish I didn't do that, but I did. And then next going in with the Milani... A more shine liquid lip color and then I have a more shine liquid lip color again um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off and we will start swatching the next row okay so starting off with delight and something else I don't know if it's just the word in a different language but 
we're gonna go with this one first this one's really pretty I like this one a lot and it's looking like that and then we're gonna go in with enchanting another really nice color I do kind of have like a preference obviously I feel like a lot of my shades are a little bit of the same that is that one and then this is tenderness definitely took a jump out of the shades that I use and then I have oops I gotta flip these upside down so I know which ones I'm swatching this one is in the shade foxy sexy or whatever this is one of the newer ones to my collection this color I prefer uh the color like the tone of it I prefer a little better than the darker shade this one is a little more up my alley. And then I have Seduction, and this is again one of the newer ones, I believe, into my collection. Ooh, yes. And it looks like that. It's a very pretty darker shade. And then this Passion, oh, this color is so pretty. And I believe I did just swatch these with you guys, so sorry it's a repeat, but this is a lip collection, so. And that's what that one's looking like. Really pretty. And then all of these ones are Milani as well. Let me go ahead and get them all in my hand so you can see them. And they are looking like this. Super pretty and fun. This, these ones are called a more matte lip cream. And I have the shade, I have it in the shade raving matte which is this color Ooh. and then i have gorgeous gorgeous this one is definitely gorgeous i'm gonna go ahead and ooh, that's definitely look at that shade and then we have pretty yeah pretty and then there's like another word near it but i'm not exactly sure if i should bother trying to read it because uh Oh, pretty problematic. That was actually simple. I guess I just let that word go over my head. These ones, I don't really like the way they smell. They're not, they don't smell as good as the um, lipsticks. What are these ones called? Um, yeah, not sure. But those ones smell really good. These ones, I don't really like the way they smell. Maybe it's because of the formula that they, something, an ingredient they have to put in to make the formula do what it does. Oh yeah, and I didn't swatch this one. I'll go ahead and swatch this one too. Whoa, oh my, this one's weird. I don't know if I like it. That's this one here. It's a little thick and chunky, but it is a pretty color. And then, did I tell you the shade name to this? This is Sweetheart, and that is this one right there. That's actually really pretty. My favorite one is probably this one in Sweetheart. And then next I have Milani again. Might as well just get that out of the way while we're here. And it is all of these, oopsie daisy, um, lipsticks, which I am a fan of. This color's on that end. Whoops, I must have grabbed it the wrong way. Anyway, I have the shade name Mom to the Rescue, but I am back. This is Nude Cream. This is one of my favorite shades. Mm, and like I said, the lipsticks smell so much better than the other formula. That's that shade. And then I have Matte Innocence. This is These were some of the first ever like lipstick products I have ever bought. And I love them. I will rebuy them when these expire. Not maybe all of the shades that I have, but definitely some of my favorites. This one is Brandy Berry, which is this shade here and then this is the matte innocence which i love the shade this is ruby valentine this one's really pretty as well i think i wore was it this one i wore for halloween or was it rebel i think it could have been the other one and that's that shade very pretty and then rebel whatever i'm not gonna even say it in or 54 this one's really pretty. I think I wore this. No, actually, I think I wore the other one for um, Halloween. I love really wearing like bold lips for Halloween and like blacks and reds and pinks. And then this one is called Bahama Beige. Again, one of my favorites. These three are my favorite lip, um, my lips from Milani, definitely. So we've got that done. On to the next is Koki Professional. This is lip pout or whatever this is liquid matte powder this is in infamous or whatever this is a really pretty color actually i like it 
it's that shade right there and then i have these two cokey ones these are sheer sheer shine um pure brilliance and i have it in nude ballet and wild honey so this is the wild honey shade i'm gonna have to just put right there it's a pretty color definitely and the formula feels really nice and then this shade right here which is called nude ballet this is probably one i'd pull more to i would use this one and then just put like a lighter nude in the center just to lighten it up a bit and then i have a just a clear lip gloss from wet and wild and then i have this professional makeup soft matte lip cream from nyx and it is in the shade california now we'll go ahead and swatch it oh yes i like this one right there another really pretty color a formula that smells really good again and then i have the nyx candy slit glowy glowy lip color and this is in the shade name watermelon taffy this one is a really pretty one too, but again, like a wicked like pinky shade. Um, and it looks like that, but I mean, for 25 cents, you really can't pass it up. Or what was it like a dollar? I can't even remember. It was super cheap. And then next I have all of these lip colors from the same brand called PH, uh, beauty brand.com. My friend got these, um, on a video she watches on Facebook. Uh, I don't know, these girls who sell this brand, whatever, like network marketing or something. Oops, and the shade name stickers always are falling off, so that's not lovely. Um, I will go ahead and swatch a couple of these, but I'm going to do it real quick and then show you them all to save time. And those are the swatches from the bhbeautybrand.com. That is what it looks like. And my favorite one is probably this one. That's a wicked orange shade, but you really can't see the intensity of it on the camera. Like it's like, well, it's like a neon orangey pinky. It looks really like like it'd be so pretty here, but it looks really orange in person. And this one is a really, really pink, honestly. But there's those. And then the next ones I have are from Wet n Wild. And I will probably go ahead and do the same thing I just did, showing you them all and then telling you the shade names and then swatching them for you. These ones are fun during Halloween because they are black. This one is called Airy Onyx or something like that. That's the black shade. Then we have um, Dark Pink Frost, and then we have a Cherry Frost. We have just a white, it's called Ghostly Beings. We have like a purpley, funny color. It's called Fuchsia with Blue Pearl or something like that. And then this one is called Dark Wine something else. And this is like a a funny looking color. I'm going to go ahead and swatch those for you and clean this up. I'm getting it everywhere and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did all of the Wet n Wild shades here. And then this brown color on the end here, I totally forgot to swatch. This is I Am Confident. This is also in the Milani that I have. So we'll go ahead and put that back in its home. And then these are all of the Wet n Wild ones that I just showed you. These I like to play around with for Halloween when I do like face makeup and stuff. The white and the black work really well together. And this red is a really good uh, like vampire shade. So those are super fun to do with like Halloween looks. And then staying in the Wet n Wild place because this is where we are right now. I have the Wet n Wild um, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. This is in Wine is the Answer. And then I have the same Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Coral Corruption. It's a really pretty color. And then I have Send Nudes. And then I have, that is not Wet n Wild, just kidding. And then I have the Nudie Patootie. And then I have the Taffy, which I'm not going to open yet. These are closed. And I have the shade is Teal. And then I have this Flame of the Game. These are really fun colors I'm going to be playing with in future videos. I'll probably open them then just to, you know, 
to do to do that and then I also have the berry down low again a really pretty like purple shade I will go ahead and swatch the ones I have open and I will be right back and that is what they are looking like right here in this row. They are, they are very stunning. This is the high shine here. And then this is also a, um, this is the matte. And I really like this shade as well. This is very pretty. And this one is the high shine. And then this one is a matte, I believe. So I have two mattes and two high shines. And those colors are very pretty. I like them a lot. I think that's it for my Wet n Wild. I'm pretty sure. And then I will go ahead and show you my little collection from BH Cosmetics. Clearly, this shade is pretty loved. You can see the emptiness going on inside of it. And I got these for a pretty good price at Kohl's, the BH Cosmetics ones. And I will go ahead and swatch them for you. This one is called, where are the shade names? Are they on the sticker? This is called Karen. And it's a really pretty color. Stunning, honestly. And then this one is called Stephanie. This is, again, another really good color. It's a little on the darker side. Again, not super, not so much a color I would wear often. But it is a very nice shade. And then we have this. Maria I believe and this is like a really nice red color right there definitely a pretty pretty red and then this is like a pinky this is called Simone I believe um and this one is a really pretty color too and their wear is so long I wore this going out the last time I got to go out in the world before everything closed and this crazy virus and holy it stays on your lips like all night and then this one which is a very very beautiful color and it is in the shade name v vanny v vania i don't know v-a-n-i-a and they're all very great colors honestly uh three out of five are probably like my favorite one two three and then those two not so much but they're all very beautiful colors and i got a really really good deal on them so i couldn't pass it up and then i'll just go ahead and stick these back in their home and i think i only have one shade of from dose of colors and it's nude mood and this is actually like a really pretty shade as well a little darker than I would like I would really love to get more from um, dose of colors but it's that shade right there very pretty and then I have quite four things from Ulta I have a matte lip cream another matte lip cream another matte lip cream and I have this Ulta Beauty I think it's um, called power trip or something i'll go ahead and swatch these for you and i'll be right back my kids really went ahead and dove the tip of this right off but it's this shade right here and honestly i don't even know why i still have it i got in the clearance section at ulta when again i started my obsession with makeup and i don't like it it was like on clearance and i think i paid nothing for it but yeah that's probably going to be one that comes out of my collection and then this one um as well this one is called all all you set all you sip i don't even know but it's like this purpley wicked vampy shade i'll hold on to it for now for like halloween purposes or fun looks but this one is called courage this is a pretty color too again a darker like brownie shade here um right there but the formula is not bad, the like first applying. I can't remember how drying it is on the lips. I'll have to go ahead and use it in a future video and let you guys know in the description box. This one is called Lively and it is, gee, this pink color here. Definitely got a lot of colors going on. You guys should leave in the comments below if you've stuck around this long. I'm not even done yet, but if you have stuck around, let me know what your favorite shade is in my collection or like your favorite brand that would be really cool I'm curious to know what that is for you guys um yeah I'm just gonna toss this one now actually because I don't love it from the Ulta Beauty and I don't want to put it back in just taking up a spot and then I have these little mini from Kylie um Jenner and it's Candy K and Charm I was like super excited to have something from her but I really don't know why uh 
I guess just to have at the time it was like so overhyped and then when it came to Ulta people were like living for it but honestly I don't go for them too often because of the way they look on my texture like on my lips but I will go ahead and put those back that is the Kylie they are stunning colors but like I said the way they dry on my lips it ain't all that cute if I'm being honest and then what do I have next I have Revlon um color stay ultimate something and then I have these Revlons and this one is called boho chick this one is called fat flashing lights and this one is called in in jog in in grogany I want to say in grogany <laughs> yeah saying that is insane and then I also have dare to be nude and champagne ice and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys okay so I went ahead and I swatched these three for you guys and they look like this um I don't really love them I don't like really any of them I think I'm gonna go ahead and just declutter them from my collection because I don't want to keep things I'm not gonna use just taking up a spot for something else I would rather have so that's four lips I'm decluttering right now you guys that's crazy I didn't plan to declutter but and then these are like my favorite ever so I wanted to actually just swatch them with you guys this is the Dare to be Nude. These are some of the first lipstick items I had in my collection in the beginning, so they've been with me a while. And then this one is Champagne, and they're stunning. I just love Dare to be Nude, and I love this shade. I've on honestly taught them together, and they look so good. And then I forgot I have this e.l.f. I don't think I swatched this one with you guys. This is called Classy. Um, it's a pinky, like a real pinky. Honestly, you can't tell shopping online and this is like way more pinky than I wanted it to be But I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it And then I have this NYX high voltage lipstick and it is in the shade name Rags to riches. Wow, isn't that a name? Hmm Again, this is one I've had for quite some time in my collection. It's not something I necessarily reach for, but it is kind of good to keep some things in my collection because my daughters do love to play in my makeup, especially my four-year-old, who is almost five. I cannot even believe it. Um, I have LA Colors Lip Duo, and they look like this. I will go ahead and swatch the lipstick side for you guys. I think the shade name is Lipstick, Lip Gloss. Where is there uh, a shade? maybe it's called clarity clarity is that the gloss and then on this side it says twinkle and this one is a little more of a pinky and the other one is more of like a nude brownie nude these ones were wicked cheap a dollar at the dollar tree but i think it's fun to keep them in my collection and then i have this milani keep it clean long wear lip color remover and thank god i have this because you guys my hands are a hella stain like if you could only see how pink my hand really is from all those ABH lipsticks holy yikes but I do have sugar um, whatever this is in fresh pressed and then I have um, sugar rush again and then this is in cake pop and then I have my blistex my chapstick stuff this is halo neon it's call me and then I have Belief Beauty, and then this is in the shade name, what does it say? Soft Rose Satin Crush Lipstick. I'm pretty sure it's called Soft Rose. I keep these up here because they're kind of big and bulky, and they don't fit really so cutely in the other things because they're too short. And then these are just for looks. I got them cheap at my work at TJ Maxx. Um, I don't use them. I really just bought them only to display on this little case thing, but they are pretty colors anyway. And then inside, oh, on the top, I also have my Calm Bomb Hemp, div, 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 whatever, e.l.f. I love this. I put this all on at night. And then I also have the Wet n Wild Lip Treatment um, in Grapefruit Mint. This I like a lot. Sorry, I'm shaking, you guys. My coffee's kicking in. I need some protein. Um, This I like. I just hate how you have to dig your finger in it. I don't like that. And then in here, I have... I have a Revlon, if you guys can see. I have, which you guys have seen. I use this often. I have Belief Beauty. It's in Honey Blush. And then I'll go ahead and tell you this one is in the shade HD Sand. 
I have a ColourPop that's in Love Bite. This is new to me. I have a NYX lingerie, whatever. This is in the shade Lipley. Is that what that is? Really? Like, it's... no, cashmere silk. Just kidding, you guys. This one's really dark. This is something I have to top because of how dark it is. And then I have the Lunar Beauty liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade uh, Aphrodite or something like that. The packaging is super stunning, and the color is really pretty too. I wear it around Christmas time. It's a perfect shade for that. And then I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Lip Gloss, and it is in the shade Rose Quartz or whatever. This is really pretty, but it, honestly, it's not something you'd wear too much. 